Here are all the data structures you need to know for your software engineering interview. And today we're going to talk about your primitive data structures, your strings, floats, ints, and booleans, together with examples of when to use them. Integers are simple enough. They're whole numbers that you use for counting. What more do you want me to say? Floating point numbers are a bit more interesting because they're really like ratios. You can use floating point numbers to represent weights and probability. Next up, we have strings, arguably one of the most widely used data types when you're talking about building out front ends. A string is an array of characters. Ooh, arrays, spoilers. Strings are also widely used in the backend as well. Strings are excellent candidates for keys to use for hashing. Strings also are very useful because they are very simple and easy to represent no matter what system you're on. Therefore, when you're thinking about storing complex data structures such as nested maps in your databases, or when you're thinking about transporting them via HTTP requests, you have to serialize them into strings. And of course, when we're talking about our primitives, we can't forget about Booleans. Booleans can only be true or false, one or zero. As a result, Booleans are most commonly used as flags in code. Anytime you're thinking about logical conditions in your code, you're going to have to use Booleans. 